afternoon. Hey, baby. Hey. What is this? Do your opening. What is what? Do your opening. Of the podcast. <laughs> What's up, everybody? And I'm his wife, Deidre Mobley. And we are... With Extraordinary Purpose. Greetings, salutations, accolades, and many blessings. So guys, I don't know why Mr. Mobley was trying to act like he was discombobulated when uh, I told him to open up the podcast because this is the uh, unofficial, official recording that you all will get on Saturday. So we are not in the normal um, studio at our house like we normally are. This weekend, we are taking you all on the road with us. So what does that mean? That means that we are um, busy this weekend with wedding things. Okay. Yes. It didn't do it because you wasn't on. You was on music, YouTube music. Oh. I just opened up your YouTube. See the plus sign. There it is. Well, we've already started. We're one minute and forty three seconds into this, so we'll just fix that. We'll. I'll, I'll have it for the next time. I appreciate you helping me. You know I'm a little challenged when yeah. it comes to electronics sometimes, right? Um, so we're taking y'all with us today, okay? So this is, um, we have started our day. We have left home, and now we are about to grab some lunch. What does that look like? McAllister's for the win. So come on in with us, guys. We're going to take y'all with us for a little while today. I got my phone. What you say? What you say? Get, get your stuff. And then you say get whatever else I'm going to need? Come on in. Y'all y'all see he tried to talk to me hard. Girl. I'm coming. It's beautiful out here today. It's a little gloomy. I think it's supposed to rain. Um, but we're going to enjoy the day, guys. Um, we are in Pooler at McAllister's. And their sandwiches are so amazing. So we go in and went in. And then I'll turn the camera around. So what's your favorite sandwiches? sandwich at McAllister's for those of you who've been here before. Y'all see my man, my man, my man? Thank you, baby. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn it around now. So now y'all get me. Uh, it's over there. So we're in McAllister's, grabbing a quick sandwich. And then what we'll do next is we will, we are grabbing some lunch, guys. So we can head to the rehearsal for the wedding. Uh, so we're excited about that, guys. Uh, Everybody has just been making sure that we have everything in place for the day. And um, one of our, our other twin is getting married. And uh, so they actually live out of town. But they decided to come in town to have the wedding here at home. Um, her fiance is from our hometown as well and so that is good all his you know his family is here as well so um, I'm waiting for hubby to come back he had to make a pit stop real quick and then we're going to order our food so 
Um, I think I just became excited this week uh, for them. I mean, I've been excited all along, but you know, you really don't. Like, it's not real until, like, the week of. And it's the, they're doing it on a Friday versus a Saturday, which is good. Um, but I'm excited for their new life as husband and wife. And so, um, I'm excited for this new chapter for both of them. Um, I'm also excited about the fact that uh, Hubby is officiating the wedding. I am greatly excited about that. And so now we're going to figure out what we want. Well, you don't talking all the time. Mm-hmm. To me. Do you know what you want to do? You know what you're getting? I don't. Okay. You don't tell people why we're doing this? I did. Yeah, I also told them that you're officiating. It's number four, my second officiation of my daughters. It's my second daughter that I'll be married. Yep, and I'm going to walk them down the aisle too. <laughs> Double duty, right? You know what you want. Um, let me figure it out. Okay. Um, we go. Well, we can't go. All right. We, well, yeah, we can go. No, we can't. Why we we can't pause it. We just cut it off. No, we're not going to cut it off here. You know what? We have to do some content for the podcast today. And so y'all going to hang with us, right? I know y'all are. Yeah, they're going to see everything until we get to the rehearsal. How do you feel about that, honey? I don't know. I'm excited for you because you get to marry another one of your daughters. And that's special. And I'm emotional already. Really? Yeah. Turn the camera around and cry. No, I can't just turn it on like that. Okay. You gonna come up here? And I'm emotional in my spirit. Y'all come with us while we order. Oh, they have ultimate buffalo chicken nachos. They have. They have a chicken salad with cranberries and pecans. I've never had that. Huh? Um, we can if you want to. That'd be fine. We don't do metallics just often, but when we do, it's always amazing. It's always amazing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, we apologize for the confusion, but your order will be delivered tomorrow. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. We had something mixed up in our system. And it was met somebody order up, y'all, and I don't think they're be happy tomorrow. about it. We'll be I don't think they're very happy well, about it. But we're waiting to place our order. And I'm good and hungry, too. Uh, black forest ham salami, provolone, hot peppers. Oh, that's Hello. nice. This is McAllister's. That's nice. Apparently, one girl is training the other girl on how to be hospitable. So we're about to order. Um, no, come on. You know what you want. Hello. Oh. How you doing? Good, you? I am well. Um, I just come to the the McAllister Club. No, no tomatoes. You thank you so much. My man, my man, my man told me today. Period. But I thank you, girl. Period. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the McAllister's Club minus the tomato. All right, and what size would you like? Um. I think I want the f- fresh fruit, please. Mm-hmm. I got the club minus the tom- tomatoes. Right over there, baby. But he told me I don't know what I want. Okay. 
Italian. You want to get the Italian? I was looking at that first. You gonna let me taste it? Chill the sixteen. Can I get an avocado added today? And then you can choose from your size, you want chips or whatever you want. I will say spud chips. Can I get a strawberry lemonade, please? Did you want to give this one? Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably eliminate it. You're trying to be like me, y'all. All right, that'll be it. All right, is that for here to go? Uh, it's going to be for here. I have to find out how far it is. It's probably about 50. All right, so it's going to be for four and you can get it ready. So, you need to get it to go? Probably. This, can we switch it to go? We apologize. No, you're good. Don't you military discounts? <laughs> That's about the discounts because my man, my man, my man was in the military. Thank you, love. You want a cookie, babe? Try the lemon one, huh? Oh, that's that's get it. That's probably nice. So we must run that cookie too. Yeah. Lemon blueberry. I'm about to eat that when I get home. Mm -hmm. That's probably gonna be real nice, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So we're sitting down now, and we are. She's coming back home. She'll be on in a few no, more minutes. No, I can't. What you mean? You can't stop me. You can't There's start no another focus. one? Huh? You can't start another one? I don't know if he'll be able to put them together. But that's fine. If he'll be able to put them together, this is very raw. We, we are, it's raw right now. This is real and raw. So y'all, y'all understand. Y'all understand. We, we'll see y'all back in a minute. She's getting ready to get on hers. All right. From moments with the Mobleys, minus this man. She done had a oh, we ready, attitude. baby, we ready. Is it? Yep. <laughs> Babe, can you ask her for a little bit of oil and vinegar in a thing? Italian dressing, oil and vinegar. Thank you so much. I, thank you. Sure, just a little container. Can I have a little container? Do you look like you have an attitude because I just want a little bit of oil and vinegar. I'll get two straws and some napkins. 
Is it right down the middle right there? Okay. Um, I don't think so. Did they put my fruit? Oh yeah, they got my fruit. Oh, you know what? You know what? I want a pickle too, y'all. Let me see if they put pickle in Because I want one. What did you get a wrap? No. Oh, this is a sandwich? So what is this? That's probably my That's your sandwich and your fruit. In this big container? Okay. Yeah, that's my sandwich. You know what we did here? Yeah. I want a pickle. That girl gonna say, ma'am, if you don't eat us alone, I gotta get a fork for my fruit. Yep, we lied. And I guess I'm going to let y'all see him. Because he has something to do on his phone. So I'm, I'm not petty. Do you um do you all have pickles? Yes. Do, do, would, I, would I have had to order them? Would I, would I have had to order them? No. How many do you need? Two. Two? Yeah. Thank you so much. Y'all, that man probably sick of me. Um, tell her I said thank you so much. Thank you, and I think a fork for my fruit. Yes, ma'am, and that's it. I appreciate you. Have a good day, okay? All right. All right, guys, I got my fork, and we got our pickles. We got our pickles. All right, baby, I got us a couple of pickles, and we ready to go. Oh, it was a pickle in there. Oh, but I got two more. Come in, I saw Huh? Well, they put mayonnaise and honey mustard on my sandwich. Okay. Oh, that look good. He got the, um, the Italian. Yeah. That looks nice. Good. Well, you look nice, too. Oh, now you be back friends now? Yeah, we friends again. Tell me you love me. I love you. I love you. I am loved, y'all, by this man. You gotta love me. You gotta love me? Yeah. Well, not necessarily, but yeah. you have to. Well, I just want to thank you for loving me. So we are going to the truck so we can head. Your sandwich now? No, it's already on there. So you don't need that? No, I'm good. Okay. Just put that in there. Yep. Um, and so we're going to get in the truck. And then on the way to the... <coughs> What's wrong? <coughs> really? Um, we headed to the truck, y'all. And we're going to talk, when we get on the truck, we're going to talk about uh, the importance of the ceremony, the importance of the marriage. You want to take that? Yes, sir. Thank you. The importance of the marriage versus the wedding day, right? And that's something that hubby likes to... Uh, this strawberry lemonade is amazing. Um... Both of you, not just him, but both of us like to make sure that uh, we emphasize to our children, um, to couples, thank you, babe. to couples, to anybody that we, you know, come in contact with or have a conversation with when talking about marriage versus, you know, planning the wedding and all that stuff. But Hubby firmly believes and he makes sure that he reiterates it to everybody or any couple that he's pouring into that the marriage 
you want the marriage to last forever, but the actual wedding is just going to be a day. Or the festivities will be for that weekend. And so that's why it's so important to make sure that you have a solid foundation. You have some good biblical marriage counseling. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting in the truck. Thank you, babe. That you have preparation for the actual marriage versus being engulfed with all the preparation for the wedding day or weekend or the celebration or whatever that looks like. Because we understand that that's a big part of it. But if you don't prepare for the actual uh marriage and you know of course it's a learning in marriage you learn things about each other you know new things every day every week every month uh, every year there's always change going on um and that takes you know you being able to maneuver uh the different you know things that come along in marriage the good the bad the ugly the indifferent and all that stuff but if you're only preparing for the wedding then what happens to the marriage when the rough moments come in um, and so you know like our apostles say you you know come and say the vows uh, your covenant to one another under God and then you leave him at the altar and y'all go along with the marriage and then when it get, when it gets rocky then y'all looking crazy like what are we doing well I don't love you no more or you know, I, I, you, you've changed. Yeah, duh, we all change. Uh, and you should invite that and want that. Or, you know, just whatever reason you all have. Um, right, I didn't know either. Um, and you got all that stuff going on. And so you're not able to sustain because you didn't prepare for the, for the actual marriage. And then you get to... Uh, You've not taken divorce off the table, and then the divorce ends up happening. And then, what's the reason for divorce? What, what's the what's the most popular one, baby? What is what you always what we hear, and you be like, what is that? She cheated on. No, baby. He cheated on. No. What what you all when the people say well, well why did they get reckless on silent silent whatever that. It, <laughs> Irreconcilable, irreconcilable differences. Whatever. That ain't even. You a so thing. crazy. He talking about That's irre. It, it, it can say reconcilable. Yeah, and then you know, do you put that because y'all have gone apart? Well, guess what? If you're in a relationship and you're not relating, you stop relating to one another. And I'm not talking about just sexually, but you stop talking. You stop spending time together. You stop being intimate. You stop. Get, get your bag. Okay, um, and all these things that come along with being in a in a relationship. Um, so you know, you wasn't beat. You wasn't beat. You act like you being beat with the people. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. We gotta put our sanitizer on our hands. I washed my hands. Oh, you in the bathroom, didn't you? Well, you actually came out the store and touched the door. Excuse us for a minute, y'all. Thank y'all for being so patient. Howdy. They are. Howdy, so, baby, talk a little bit about preparing for the marriage versus preparing for the wedding day. Let's talk about that. The marriage is the most important thing. Most people prepare for the wedding. And you hear the statement, you know, my wedding day is the biggest day of my life. And it's, it's, it is a big day. Um, it's only one one of the biggest days of your life. Because you, you will go on and live your life and have children, buy your first house together, buy vehicles together, you know, for a family. So it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of first amazing things. Mm -hmm. But most people 
get married, they focus on the wedding. Some people even go in debt. Um, and it's like you're invested in the wedding and you do not invest in your marriage. Mm -hmm. Premarital counseling. Um, getting counseling, preparing yourself for the actual relationship that you're going to have with your spouse. Right. So it's, it's just big. And, and we've seen it throughout our years of doing this. We've seen it throughout the years, our years of doing this, that a lot of couples focus on the wedding. And the wedding is big and grand and beautiful and all these different things. And then six months, eight months down the line, they run into relationship problems, marital problems. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't prepare. Preparing for the wedding, and, the, and I'm, we're not against celebrating the wedding. And, you know, I, I can tell you straight up, my my focus and what I believe has nothing to do with the actual wedding. It's, it's has everything to do with the marriage and preparing for that and being in a headspace to receive. Because once you decide to get married, that opens up a whole nother realm of blessings for you. Mm -hmm. Because now you're lining up to the principles of God and, yeah, you know, favors you've never been you've never tapped into mm -hmm. benefits you've never tapped into um just a lot of things from the kingdom that will be released because you follow a, a principle yeah so and i shared that with my my daughter and my my future son-in-law mm -hmm. um and they they received everything i said because i told them you know don't get don't distract yourself with the details, so much of the details of the wedding. Now, they've been planning since last year. Right. 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 And, and I, I'm not even mad at them. But I had to get on the phone and tell them, y'all need to disconnect from this stuff and focus on the wedding. I need y'all in a headspace. The marriage. To, to receive. Mm -hmm. yeah, focus on the marriage. Mm -hmm. I need y'all in a headspace to be able to receive what God is going to do. Because once y'all become aligned, then it's going to feel different. It will be Absolutely, different. yeah. It will be different. I agree. It will change your, your mindset on how you think, how you move, everything. It will be different. Mm -hmm. And my daughter and my son-in-law, and my son -in -law, they have already gotten, you know, premarital counseling. So they they prepared themselves for the journey they're about to be. Yeah. And then, of yeah. course, they have us. So if they ever run into a situation or issues or whatever, and you know we here yeah so but the marriage is the most important thing we prepare for the wedding we plan for the wedding we don't prepare for the marriage we don't plan for the marriage and that that's the part that saddens saddens me and my wife a lot because mm -hmm. you have this this expectation of the one day right no expectation of the lifetime the that lifetime. you want they yeah. want yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely um we've okay there it is we've all so, had conversations with them just about trying to about different situations um i remember we had a conversation about um, this was a couple of years ago talking about submission and what that means and so we were able to pour into them about that and just committing to one another you know and what this covenant means and they're both ready and I believe that they are we've seen them date since college yeah, I think they've been they've been together for nine years they um yeah, I think it's been so about nine years. The dating, they, they've been fiance. But the one thing I can say that I was, I pay attention, you know, to who my daughter's dating. Yeah. And with this particular guy, he really, he was planning a life. So right. he bought a home, um, had it built. Um, well, actually, started his career, you know, his yeah, college career. Started his career. Finished he got that. Solid in that. Mm -hmm. Found a career that he he really loves, to, you know, and he cares to do. 
and he set he set himself and my daughter up. So he was planning for the marriage. And that's, yeah. that's the part. He yeah. planned for the marriage. He planned for everything that was going to happen. He planned for the future. So he set some things in place to make that happen. So I, I was watching him. Yeah. I don't think he knew I was watching him, but I was feeling some kind of way because I was like, Yo, y'all have been dating for a long time and he out here doing all these things and if he don't want you no more, what you going to do? But he, he, she was a part of picking all the furniture out in the home. Um, you know, and and didn't even know it. And didn't even know mm-hmm. that, you know, the plan that he had, you know, for them to get married when he asked her and all that. So he everybody processed and that's the part I'm having to learn. Because when people ask me, I say my daughters did not do nothing that I had a vision for them to do as far as out of high school. But my wife helped me deal with the whole everybody has a process and they have to figure out their own way and direction yeah so, thank god all of our daughters this is the fourth one who will be being getting married um and then the fifth one she will i believe they'll be getting married by the end of this year at some point in time and i won't be officiating that one but um they have a church home, so they yeah. Be their apostle will be yeah, doing it. They're covering with yeah, that. which that's very good. Mm-hmm. But I, I just thank God because you know my girls got they got solid dudes. They got solid dudes that that got vision that want to you know build a family. Want they plan a family. And these are the same guys we have you know in the house every year since they've been dating for our Christmas holiday. So they've already been a part of. You know, a new legacy that we've actually started with our family, our immediate family. So they've been a part of that for, for years. And I can't say no one who's been a part of it that they dated, they're not dating anymore. So all these guys have been a part of everything and now they're becoming, you know, husbands. So. Yeah. I have to figure out, I should have put a sandwich on fire left. Oh Lord, you need some help? I thought you did too. You just it's not cut, so you know you you've had to handle much more than a sandwich. While I was driving. While you was driving. And you still got it. It's still inside of you. <laughs> Y'all hold on for a second, cause y'all gonna, y'all are a part of this. Call Brianna Brown. Y'all are. Yes. We just have to do a quick call, guys. Hello. Hi, Brianna Brown. We're recording the podcast on YouTube Live, so just you know, don't say nothing crazy. Girl, did, be yourself. Did be you yourself. need Did you need something? No, I don't need anything, Deborah. I was calling to see where you all were. Um, we. Um, okay, go ahead. We uh, we got out a little early after I got off a little bit early. We just kind of we out here, so we out here. So y'all there? Yeah, we're just sitting there. Okay, so we'll be there in 33 minutes. We actually went by Walmart and Pooler. I had to get a necklace extender. And uh-huh. um, then we went and grabbed us um, a sandwich from McAllister. So we're on 16 now. Okay. <laughs> so we're headed there. Okie dokie. Alrighty, so we'll see y'all soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we are, like like I said earlier in the video, we're headed 
It's good. They it put what? I think olives did come on it. Yeah, it did. Did they add the avocado? Okay. Um, so as I told y'all earlier, um, we are actually headed to, excuse me, the wedding is on Tybee Island. And so we're headed there for the rehearsal. And then after the rehearsal, we'll be headed to, um, we're going to hit the map. Oh, my apologies. Um, right here. We are, we'll be headed to the rehearsal dinner. Um, and then, yeah, and then we'll be done for the evening. And then in the morning, the girls have makeup early. And I'm one of the girls. And then we'll go from there. The wedding is uh, tomorrow, Friday, which is Friday. When y'all see this, it'll be over. But uh, at 5. And so we just, we, we, we have... I do have to pick up the flowers for the groom, the boutonnieres and the corsages, corsages and the boutonnieres for the guys as well. And so I think that's about it. I, they, they pretty much, like Hubby said, have been planning for a while. So we're just, you know, pinpoint last minute stuff. And so we're just making sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible for them. Um, I'm excited, y'all. Y'all know I'm a big crybaby, so, uh, a couple years ago when hubby did, uh, officiated for the first daughter, the baby daughter's wedding, he did really good, and, uh, I think I cried at, a little bit throughout the ceremony, but I was okay, you know, after that, um, but I'm just more so excited and grateful about all that God is doing in and through the lives of our seed. As y'all know from the beginning of the podcast that we were teenage parents and first baby at 17 and we had our last baby at 21. And so a lot of people counted us out, but you know. They just couldn't count. Nobody cared what people thought. Right, exactly. You know, we went through our time of of caring, you know. And so now, you know, the we can honestly say that the Lord has kept us. This is this is year we're on the year thirty one now. And we we are most grateful. We're concerned about what the Lord says and the important people in our lives. And we're just um, celebrating all weekend with them. Uh, they'll leave uh, to go back home so they can catch their flight out for their honeymoon and all that good stuff. So um, this is truly what we honor. You know, the 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 house the house is good. The cars are good. The, the money is good, but these moments, these times, money can't buy. yeah, no amount of money can replace this. And so this is where our, this is where our, you know, well house is in our children and our family and our legacy. Well. Yeah, the, absolutely. And so we're excited about that again for them, um, tremendously. Um, <laughs> and, and, uh, so We've seen them grow a lot. No point nine miles to to uh, Liberty. Trying to eat the sandwich. I know. Okay, I was about to say, wait a minute, why is it taking us there? But okay. Um. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today, guys. And um, we missed our recording early in the week because Hubby was a little under the weather. But he got some rest. I had to get myself right. To get himself together. Because the enemy tried it. But he is well. And so we're just ready to have fun with, with our family. 
this weekend. This is this week. I can remember the time when they were younger and people would say, oh my gosh, wait until they get married. You know what I'm saying? Wait until all of them get married. But statistically, we, we not, this is not supposed to be happening. Like, literally. We're supposed to have a daughter in prison. At least two of them were supposed to be pregnant in high school. Now, that's yeah, according to... That's, that's, that's statistically. Oh. Um, but we don't go yeah, by statistics, y'all. We, we are, and, and, and those who don't believe in God, uh, that, that's all this is established by, is by God. So, I thought they get, one of our daughters did get pregnant in college. So, we, we got through that. Um, they finished college and everything, went on to get their master's. So, yeah, we, we are definitely a, a, a family that supports and sticks together and, and hold each other arms up. And, and I'm grateful for that. Definitely. Punk flea market. I don't know what a punk flea market is. We are now in downtown Savannah. Um... And it's gorgeous down here. It's sometimes when you don't explore your city or come through it enough, get to different parts of it, you kind of take it for granted. Okay, you ain't gonna eat your food? I am going to eat my food. I'm going to eat my food in just a second. Um, so, I am actually, I've been eating my fruit, guys. And this is a mixture of like cantaloupe and honeydew and pineapples and grapes. I'm sad that there's no strawberries in there, but it's good. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to finish my fruit, guys. I'm going to eat my sandwich. Uh, for all things Mobley's, make sure y'all go to www.momentswithamobley's.com to check out um, what's going on with us and all that good stuff. Um, and so we are yeah. out here. You crazy. She was walking by and she didn't even know if he was going to stop. Uh -huh. She trusted that he was going to pump them brakes so she could walk across. Okay, I was biting my sound. Listen, I'm, I want you to just have been able to see her. So, guys, uh, we did um, a surprise bridal dinner um, with, like with her sisters and um, her both grandmothers, her soon-to-be mother-in-love, and um, my sister, my, my sister and my sister cousin, and a couple of close friends, y'all, and we had an amazing Where time. Are you going? Ain't supposed to be in school? They are in school, baby. It's two forty six. These kids go to school early. They have private school. What school private are school. Um, I thought like this is real. Right. right. Trying to figure out where his kids go to school at. It's a private school down here somewhere. But I'm being nosy. <clears throat> excuse me. They um they have been um it's a private school uh down here somewhere. I can't remember which one, but um. And we went to a Mexican spot here in uh, Pooler. And so we had so much fun, but I was trying to throw, I was responsible, ended up being responsible for getting Bridget to the restaurant. People was texting me. I was trying to, don't do it, y'all. Trying to text, send a text while driving. I was at the stoplight. Uh, thought the light turned. Thought the people was moving and hit the gas a little bit. And the car started beeping. I had to slam on the brakes. It was a lot going on. And so I put her in a tizzy, and she was like, "Ma, it's, it's cool huh, baby? Yeah, yeah. baby, they go to school at different times." Um, and so she, I was like, "Baby, are you in a?" She was like, "Ma, now you got me in a tizzy. What are we doing?" Um, but it all worked out. She was surprised. She got some really, really nice gifts, um, especially from my mother-in-law. Y'all, my mother-in-law is the the the. Uh, what, what do you call it? The lingerie stylist from the from the heavens, y'all. 
she bought every color, every style. Um, you know, we bless the Lord for the the um, support from our parents, from John, from all from our, both our parents, our, our whole village. Let me put it like that. And so we're just excited, guys. You know, just for any peop any persons, people who may be watching this, couples, if you're engaged, if you're uh, dating to marry, whatever that looks like, make sure you get some good sound premarital counseling. Um. To just go over different things like, you know, sex and intimacy and the different types of love and, um, you know, money and children and blended families and what, I mean, what, anything that, you know, uh, trust, just any area of marriage that could, you know, that you'll have to deal with being married to somebody, you know, selflessness versus selfishness, not self. Marriages and married ain't for selfish people. And so all those things that come along with it, talk it out. You know, see what uh, your expectations are for your marriage uh, from each other. And so what all that looks like so you won't get get here or get in the relationship. Of course, you're going to have to learn each other and all those things as living together and stuff. But, you know, as much stuff as you can knock down before you or as much knowledge that you can gain before you get into it, then you'll know what your partner feels. How, you know, whether they handle money well or what, whether they don't. What's their credit score looking like? Is, is your husband, is your fiancé or boyfriend or fiancé-to-be or whatever, husband-to-be, are they, do they like holding hands? Are they intimate? Do they not know what intimacy is? Because you have people who don't know. And, yeah, I know you might be surprised, but a lot of, some people are in marriages and they're stuck because they don't know stuff and they won't reach out. Well, we can help y'all with that. Mm -hmm. We are SIMBIS certified uh, premarital counselors. We do, we will um, also do, uh, help you out if you are already married. No matter, for no matter how long. Five years, five months, five days. Whatever it is, whatever, whatever that looks like. And so, um, again, Moments with the Mobleys dot com hit us up so on social media on all platforms we are moments with the mobiles except for what's the new twitter is called what now threads no no instagram we're on threads too though i think we're on threads too twitter is called x now x i think that's what it's called forgive me y'all um we're mobile moments okay I'm back. I got it. Uh, so we are off. We are off to... We have about 20 minutes before we'll get to the wedding venue. And we'll be there on time. We won't be late. And so thank y'all for hanging with us for this little bit of time as we journeyed. Y'all probably say she got this camera in her face, in his face, to the top of the truck, on the, in the sky. What, what is she doing? This that's, is That's why we hired our media team. Though. Right. We, we be struggling a little bit, but it's, it's okay. Yeah, because, you know, sometimes y'all don't need us sitting in the chair. Y'all need us out and about doing stuff so y'all can see what we, what we, what we be doing. Uh, so. And make sure that. Phone call to a vendor. So. Be blessed. This has been Go, baby. Moments with the Mobleys. I am your man, Johnny Mobley Jr. And I'm his wife, Deidre. We still something like an ordinary couple. With extra, extraordinarily, extravagantly extraordinary purpose. Makes no sense, but hey. I know it is. It's nice, just like you are. Thank you. We'll talk to y'all later, okay? Let me go talk about me. My man, my man. Bye.